Alright, this group of videos is going to be on exponential equations and logarithms. And this one's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to mostly be doing uh, the rules for these in the first video. Then the next video I'm going to show you how to solve them, just to kind of break it up and make it not too long. So, an exponential equation has a variable for its exponent. y equals b to the x. And b is known as the base. If I were to solve this, normally I would just take the x root of everything. But can't take the x root. That really doesn't get me anywhere. What I have to do is use logarithms. Which are the opposite of exponential. Kind of like how multiplication and division are opposites of each other exponential equations and logarithms are opposites of each other. A logarithm looks like this. x equals log to a base b of y. Alright, that's just how you read it. Just again, they're opposites just like multiplication and division. So in order to solve these, you need to know the rules for logarithms. or logs. And they're going to look a lot like the exponent rules. So first, log of a times b equals log of a plus log of b. So the log of 6 equals the log of 2 plus the log of 3. Because 2 times 3 equals 6. The log of a over b equals the log of a minus the log of b. Oops, not doing the next example here. Here we go. The log of 16 is the log of 32 minus the log of 2. 32 over 2 equals 16. I can just rewrite it. And that's all that these are doing. They're just rewriting things to make them a little bit simpler. Third, the log of a to b equals b times log of a. So the log of 9 equals 2 oops, times the log of 3. Because 3 to the second equals 9. Log 
to a base b of b equals 1. So log to a base 2 of 2 equals 1. And the last rule, log to a base b of 1 equals 0. Log to any base of 1 is 0. Now, notice how some of these don't have a base. I'm trying to... Sorry, a couple of cords are in the way here to push this up any further. So we'll try to squeeze it in here. If no value of base is stated for a log, we assume the base to be 10. I'm trying to get this extra paper out of the way. So that's just saying that the log of A equals log base 10 of A. This is important because calculators Only do law, only do base 10 logs. And eventually we'll go over how to do changing the base in your calculator in order to use it. So I'm going to leave the rules just for this first video. All right, the next video we're going to actually go over some solving. So I'll see you in the next one.